Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Still rolling with my less than desirable uh, camera setup here, but today we're going to be looking at Kion ROM version 1.12 rising for the AT&T version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. This device is already rooted with a custom recovery, and right now we're running the stock ROM as it suggests to be running uh, before you install this. One of the things that I'm going to do first personally is back up my custom apps with titanium backup of course this does require root and you wouldn't be able to get the ROM on here if you didn't have that acquired already anyways so I'm going to go into backup restore hit this little checkbox up here I am going to back up all my user apps and I'll start that right now so some of the features of this ROM, it's based off of the i747 Mike Victor Lima Alpha Lima Echo 8 release. Deodex BusyBox rooted zip align, bloatware removed, Google Apps updated, native hotspot and tethering. That'll be great for you guys that don't have that uh, in your plan already. Personally, I'm running off of the 3 gig plan, so I don't have that. Android 4.1 Jelly Bean Wallpapers Default Chrome Browser Original Custom Theme Scrolling Cache Disabled System UI Customized 4-Way Reboot Wallpaper Scrolling Enabled So he is on version 1.12 as of this broadcast. I'm going to reboot it into recovery and you can do this two ways. I could hit restart right now or power off and then do the whole power on sequence uh, with volume up, home, and then power. But I'm going to go ahead and restart. I'm going to catch the restart. As soon as this little LED on top goes out, I'm going to hit home and volume up. I've already downloaded the ROM and placed it on the internal storage. You can see the little blue script right there. I'm definitely headed into the custom recovery. Alright, so we're going to follow his instructions here. Ensure device is on stock firmware. Ensure device has clockwork mod recovery. Perform factory reset on in settings. If perform factory reset on clockwork mod, reboot. Download the ROM. Place the ROM on the internal SD. Perform the Android backup and recovery. Flash keyandrom.zip and reboot. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and back up. I'm going to back up to the external storage. This is I have 4.3 gigs available on that so hopefully we have no problems making that backup. This is the easy way to restore what I had previously. Titanium is a good backup as well and I can reload those applications onto the new ROM really quickly. Best to have a couple backups than have none. The link to this thread will be available in the description below. Please leave comments on what you think about this video, uh, what you want to see next. Right now I do have the Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon versions of this uh, phone after my move uh, next week. I'll probably try to be putting up a lot of more videos. In his thread, he also has something called Key and Append. Key and Append allows users to install removed apps through Clockwork Mod. Uh, download Key and ROM, remove second post. Download Key and Append, also in the second post in that. Place desired APKs from Key and ROM removed on system app folder of Key and Append. Place Key and Append in internal SD. Place device in recovery, flash Key and Append dot zip. We will be running benchmarks in another video just for fun, so you can compare it to other ROMs. Of course, they are not the only indicator of everyday performance. I will be speeding up through this backup because it does take a lot of time. Please show your appreciation by donating and clicking on the thanks button and the XDA developers thread. Alright, this is the screen we were dumped back into after making our backup. We're going to go ahead and do wipe data factory reset. Yes, volume up, down, scrolls, power, yes.
All right, it did say reboot, so we'll go ahead and reboot. But we're gonna catch that and go back into Clockwork Mod volume up and home button. And we're back in. One thing I'm going to do that I do every once in a while is wipe battery stats. It's in under the advanced menu. Go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go back. We're going to install zip from SD card. Choose zip. We put in the Z update folder just so it would be easy to locate. Key and ROM 1.12 s.zip is what we're installing. Confirm. This is the semi-transparent uh, semi version. He's managed to get this file down to 392.98 megabytes. If you guys already have a previous version of this ROM, he also gives you instructions for that. Pretty much just back it up and flash it over your other install. Alright, so we're going to go back and reboot system now. So this boot will take longer than your typical boot since the device has pretty much been wiped clean. I believe that's the i9-300 boot animation. Alright, we'll blaze through the setup here. Nice little L for the LTE symbol up there by the time. Your traditional ICS blue color going on here. Still have your touch whiz. Nice little background. Throw something up there. Go into our app drawer. It said Chrome is your default browser. Little settings icon is different. Here's our Verizon version. We'll go ahead and go in and turn the brightness up on this one.
There's one feature that I really like when they place them in a ROM. The restart options allow you to go exactly where you want to go upon rebooting. Let's check out the stock hotspot. And there we go. I am on the 3 gig plan, but I just enabled the hotspot by toggling it. You can click there and customize it. So that's another big perk of this ROM. So again, this is Key and ROM 1.12, a semi-transparent version for the AT&T version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. If you're already rooted with a custom recovery, I definitely suggest that you check this ROM out, back everything up, and you won't have any issues going back to stock if you want to change back, but I believe that a lot of you will continue to follow this development of this ROM and continue to use it. So check out the link in the description below. For more information about the US versions of the Galaxy S3, please subscribe to this channel and like my videos. Thank you.